Hey, what's up? Austin Thomas here. Look, so anyway, um, I'm in kind of an emergency right now. So basically, you know, it's summer. I'm about to go to college. Uh, UC Davis, all right, Aggie pride. If any Aggies out there watching this. To get into college, you got to pay for it, obviously. And then when you got to pay for it, you have to have money for that, right? Well, here's the thing with me. Um, basically... If any of you know based off of any former videos I might have posted, I am a former foster child. Um, I say former because I have just been legally emancipated. I am now legally an adult and um, I'm no longer a foster child. But sometimes I still say I'm a foster child, you know, why not? It's easier to say. So anyway, uh, no parents in that picture. And um, here's the thing with college. Um, when they, they add your financial necessities. They assume that you have parents or some kind of finances set up so that you can help pay for your tuition and stuff. The other problem there is that I have no money. Being a former foster child, I come from a very low income poverty situation. So I'm about to pull up my about to pull up my finances. That's how much I need to pay for college. Um Righty, okay. University of California, Davis. I need to pay a total. Total cost of attendance is $30,135. I actually got a big chunk of that done. Anyway, it says also says student self-help expectation. Under there it says $2,250. The only problem there is that, like I said, I have no way of paying this myself. A lot of people go to college, you know, they say, basically, um... Well, I need to go to college, I need to get a good education, I need to get a good job, I need to I need to get a good education, I need to get a good job, I need to make a good living for myself. Well, as true as that is, I do want all that for me, but I'm also looking out for other people. For me, I'm trying to get into the medical field. But um, to get there is like a step-by-step -step process, you know, college, medical school, PhD, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, then you're a doctor. With that being said... Um, I need to get into college to begin all that, and, well, I need to pay to get into college because, you know, things cost money in this world. Uh, I did apply for some federal loans, so I am loaning. Uh, I do know that loaning has some side effects and consequences. Uh, you loan, you have to repay with interest, and in the end, you pay more than you took out. But I will accept that because for two reasons. Um, one, I know that federal loans, interest rates aren't as bad as third-party loans. And two, because this will actually help me out a lot. It helps pay for an extra roughly seven to $8,000 that I do need for my tuition. And with the loans that I actually accepted, uh, the federal Pell and the something something other thing, um, I still have the $2,250 finance thing I need to pay off. Okay, so I need to pay this $2,250, right? Okay, so here's what I did. Um... there is a plan that I have set up for me so I am selling some of my stuff uh, I have a Nintendo Wii I don't really play that anymore so I don't really need it there's a lot of downloaded games on there already that adds to the price um, so I'm selling that for a couple hundred uh, I'm also selling like a bed mattress I got because being a former foster child um, they give us some stuff and one thing they gave me was a bed and I already have like three or four beds so I don't need another bed. What I'm gonna do with another bed? Burn it. So I'm gonna sell that for like a hundred and I'm gonna try to sell some other things that I have just laying around that I don't use. That so I can make some money off of that. And I'm trying to raise money for myself because it says student self help whatever thing anyway, so they expect me to pay that with my money that I don't currently have. So I do need to raise that money. So I kinda did some calculations. Um if I sell some of that stuff on Craigslist uh, it kind of lowers the $2,250 total down to about 1800 and that's better. I mean, it's still kind of high, but it's better than, you know, 2250 And so 1800 and that's actually a pretty nice number. Um, it is July 17th, and I do need to have all these funds allocated by September 15th. So from now until then, there's 60 days, which is also a nice number. So those two numbers, 1860, I used my trusty TI-84 and divided it. So the number that appears is 30. And um, if you know where I'm getting at, then you'll know that that means 
every day I need to get thirty dollars so I need to raise thirty dollars every day basically and that would be every day from now until September 15th I need thirty dollars personally that's a big responsibility that means every day I have to make sure I get that money somehow I don't know how um, the other thing is I don't have a job I've been trying to get a job I've been applying Starbucks Target some local stores movie theaters um, they haven't responded some of them have actually said that there's no openings available at the time and um, you know I'm just trying to do that and then additionally I'm trying to find some not employment jobs but like just some things I can do also so I don't have a job I don't have employment um, I'm not getting income uh, so thirty dollars a day is actually just me finding thirty dollars or selling something to get thirty dollars every day for sixty days so that's kind of a lot because if you think about it I mean you may have money you may not have money thirty dollars to get that every day without a job that's basically trying to get lucky every day anyway so today begins what I call the sixty day challenge to get money uh, the 60 day challenge is me trying to get $30 every day for 60 days. Uh, in the end, I would have raised $1,800, and adding that to what I hope to get by selling some of the more costly stuff I have, that would pay off my student expected costs for UC Davis, and that would be awesome. That would be just awesome. So, to accept this responsibility that I've just put on myself, um, I actually got thirty dollars today, so today is day one, and I have thirty dollars. Um, it's actually in change. It's like this is like all change. It's all money, and all this money that I have is just dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters. Um, I have a half dollar in here. I have some dollar coins in here, but total, this is exactly thirty dollars. Um. So, since I really have nothing better to do, I will actually just go on and say how I got this money today. So, for day one, the way that I got myself to get some money was um, I had I had been saving change over the course of months. And um, I've been doing this for like a year or so. And uh, just the thing I do is that every time I do, I actually get all the change and make like a weird uh, design. They've all been Mario related so far, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so the last time I checked how much money I had, I had a total of $23.36. So, I just needed like $7 more to make the 30 So I just went around my house and, like, looked in every nook and cranny. Um, I found, like, a little bit over $7. So I took how much I needed to make that 30 put in that bag and the rest of it I kinda saved because I'm gonna need that for tomorrow because I'm gonna have to get 30 more hours tomorrow and uh, I don't know how I'll do that maybe I'll have to find more change maybe I have to sell myself somehow in some explicit way I don't know so it'd be pretty awesome if I could think of some creative way or just like find it maybe I'm walking on a road and there's like a thirty dollar bill on the ground Maybe I'm just walking along the store and then it explodes the cash. I'll take it. Um, I actually, actually I do not steal. Um, I am very, I'm very ethical. I don't steal. I don't believe what I'm doing is wrong. Uh, anyone can question my opinion, but I think I'm doing this in a right and fair way. Uh, like I said, I just found money around my house. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, what else? Um. I've been saving change. Um, I'm trying to work for whatever money I can get. Um, so personally, I think that's ethical. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. That's kind of like my little thing. I need to get this money by September 15th. And um, yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there. I know that some people have money, unlike me. Um, I also know that some people have been going to University of California, Davis, and they actually would like to see more students be able to go there and prosper. Um, I do know that there are some very kind people out there that would just like to help out someone, especially someone maybe in my situation, you know, kind of like a rough childhood, kind of grew up out of that, and then kind of kind of came over that. Um, I know there's just some other people that just like giving out money because they have a lot of money. Um, 
I think that if just one person sees this video and actually feels like donating some money to me, that would actually be awesome. It could be like a dollar. I mean, anything helps. I mean, I am basically asking for money here. I don't think that there's anything low or wrong with that. I just really do need the money. And um, the reason I'm posting this is not just because I do need the money and I'm asking for the money, but also because um, I know there's a lot of other people in the situation. I mean, maybe this will inspire somebody to go out and do something, maybe similar to this, or maybe take some of my ideas like finding change around my house, or if I think of anything else in the near future, maybe they'll see this and that'll help them too because I know that I'm not the only person in the situation that needs money. Like all my friends are basically saying, oh, how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to pay for my books? How am I going to pay for tuition? Uh, room, uh, how am I going to pay for food, how am I going to pay for commute, how am I going to pay for all that stuff. Some people come from out of state, that's a lot of money. So I'm I'm asking for money, That there's nothing wrong with asking for money. And um, if someone would actually like to donate some money to me, um, I will have my email in the link below. I will actually say my email right now, it's austinthinks at gmail.com, like Austin, that's me, thinks, I'm thinking at gmail.com and um, this will be a great help to me and not only me but this will be a great help to anyone that I can help out in the future with this education that I will hope to get from UC Davis. Um, I'm actually trying to pursue a general practitioner so I'm gonna help out with a little of everything and um, everyone needs some help so I wanna I just wanna help some people out there. So uh, this will actually be my first year at UC Davis I'll be an incoming freshman I am majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology, and I am going to have fun there while I'm at it, but I do need to get in, so that's the big concern for me. Also, if anyone is interested or following up in my whole autobiography I'm writing, yes, I'm writing an autobiography too, that's how awesome I am, uh, it's called Open My Eyes for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, I do believe I have another video about this somewhere. However, because this has been an issue for me with the finances for college, I've been trying to get money, saving money, focusing on ways to try to be more economical and try to just keep more money in my pocket. Um, because of this, I have not been able to have a lot of time for this book. I saw that book open my eyes. I can't really do that now because of this, this crisis that I'm having, this financial crisis. So I'm going to postpone that for a while. I might try writing it again during college, but I do know that the college year will be very rigorous, especially the first year, because I'm still getting used to everything. So hopefully I can do that maybe in the next couple years. Uh, I do believe it's very unfortunate that I had to push this off, but I guess that's what it kind of had to be. But uh, so yeah, I just want to say that about my book for any followers. And well, yeah, so... So if anyone would like to help me out, I would be very thankful of your very generous donation. Uh, I would be glad to mention you and say thank you on this to you and to anyone else that donates. And um, even if you can't donate or you just don't want to donate because A, you don't like me, B, you just don't have the money, C, you don't know who I am, you don't really trust me, or you know whatever reason, I know that that happens. I know that not everyone's going to actually want to donate, but even if you don't want to donate, you can still you can still like this. You can subscribe to me. You can do something that would help boost awareness for me and my concern. Uh, you can go ask people. I don't really think you need to do that, but you can ask people to help me. Um, I would love you for that, but you know that's kind of on me. You don't need to do that, but if you want to. Yeah, I would much appreciate any help that you can do, financial or spreading this message that I have. So I thank you for watching this video. And if something happens, I get some money, I would very much appreciate that. And right now I'm looking at $30 in change in a box, and it feels very lonely. I know that it wants to be surrounded by a lot more money, and I would love to make that happen. So again, thank you for your time, and I appreciate it. And see you tomorrow, and goodbye.